All right, for our first entry here, we have this navigation and hero section. Now there's several things here that I want to address that you know what I know are going to have a huge impact. <laughs> So I decided to redo the logo here real quickly because a poorly designed logo can kill an otherwise great UI design. Next up is the hero section. I'm not much of a fan of the large photograph watermark trend anymore as it's quite outdated. So I like to see photographs as they were meant to be seen or viewed, which is in their full vibrancy. I thought their placement of the two feature cards was rather random. So I'm going to place them underneath the headline and the eventual call to action buttons. The next entry is another hero section for a SaaS or a software as a service. Now the primary issue here involves white space, so let's see if we can tidy it up. Now the first issue here is the lack of white space around their nav bar. Everything is crammed to the sides or the edges of the design. So, what we want to do is provide an adequate amount of white space, or in this case, padding around those elements. Now you can make a layout more interesting by splitting it up into two columns, as I've done here with the darker blue on the left especially when it's relatively simple with some headline text to the left and a simple form on the right. Notice how much easier it is to read my form elements versus the original. Their design lacked both white space around the form and also contrast on the form labels themselves. Last but not least is this section of a landing page which has some issues with contrast, white space, and alignment.
So I realized that there's just way too many logos here and they're way too low contrast. You want people to be able to see these logos clearly, but you don't want to bombard them with quite this many. An alternative would just be to put a external link where you can link to all the other companies that you've worked with on a separate page. Now notice their five stars on the left and how they lack equal white space between them and also how they're not center aligned in the design. You definitely want to avoid that type of situation. And you also want to avoid making most, if not all of your text colorize. You'll notice that I make most of the text here black. Finally, they're placing too much emphasis on the reviewer's photograph and their names and not enough on their actual reviews, which is what people care about the most. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably want to be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022 and that will give you 22% off at checkout.